In this tutorial, you will learn to use NX 7.5's motion simulation module to create a rack and pinion. Download the zip file at the bottom of the page and open the rack and pinion part file found inside. Start NX motion simulation, and in the motion navigator, right click on rack and pinion and click new simulation. In the environment dialog box, check the component simu based simulation box. This will convert components in the assembly file into links and assembly constraints into joints. We're not going to need the joint that NX just created for us, so the first thing we'll do is delete it. NX also wants to know whether we would like to fix either of the links that were just created. Since we want them both to move, click no. We would now like to define the rack and, pin ra a rack and pinion coupler between these two links. Uh, so, under the Couplers tab, which has these two gears here, uh, scroll down to Rack and Pinion. The prerequisites for a Rack and Pinion Coupler are a slider joint and a revolute joint. So we're going to first need to create those. The joints icon is right next door, so click on that and it'll give us options to define a slider and a revolute joint. The slider joint uh, is going to have as its action link uh, the rack. The origin is sort of unimportant, so we'll just click here on the corner. Uh, but the orientation is important. Uh, we need to give it a vector, and if we give it this edge right here, uh, NX will infer that uh, we want the rack to move to the left. Click Apply, and change the type to Revolute. We would like the gear to rotate about uh, the center, so uh, with the help of some smart clicking, we can get NX to automatically define the origin and orientation for us. Click on this inside edge here, and NX will specify the gear as the action link, and the origin right at the center, and the orientation uh, correctly. We also want to give this joint uh, some initial rotational velocity, so click the driver tab and change rotation from none to constant. Go ahead and set an initial velocity of 50 inches per second, and click OK. We've now got the links and joints necessary, and what we would like to do is define the rack and pinion coupler. Click the rack and pinion icon and select the slider and revolute joints that you just created. And the last piece of information we'll need to enter is this ratio here, the pin radius. In the gear part file, we have uh, an expression called D for the diameter, so if we want the radius, what we need to do is divide it by 2. So we're going to go to the gear part file, colon, colon, D divided by 2. Unfortunately, that's uh, the radius up to this inner circle here, uh, and what we would like is some sort of correction term to take into account the size of these triangles. As it turns out, uh, that correction term is 0 0.025. Click OK, and NX will create the rack and pinion coupler. Notice that the direction of rotation here is consistent with the direction that the, the slider is moving, so when we animate this, it'll actually be going in the correct direction. In the Motion Navigator, right-click on Motion 1 and click New Solution. Gravity is unimportant in this animation, so set that to zero. In my animations, I like to have uh, about 100 steps per second in the animation. Uh, it just tends to give it a smoother resolution, and uh, five seconds should be long enough to see what's going on here, so once that's set, click OK. NX is now going to solve this system, and when the progress is at 100%, we'll have an animation ready to watch. Looks like it's done, so go ahead up to the animation toolbar here and click play. Great, so looks like the rack is moving along the gear, and if you want to be sure that it's actually lining up correctly, you can zoom in down here at the contact point, and it looks like the teeth are actually lining up. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.